Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, today I decided to show you a uh, compass that I recently got in the mail. I purchased a while back. Um, and, and the reason I still have in the box and all is when I first got it, I didn't know what it was. And I picked it up and it was heavy as sin. And I'm going, what the heck is this? I don't remember call ordering a brick. So anyway, I thought I'd just do the uh, opening here. On the video and we'll see what it is. I do have the scales out here, so we'll weigh it see how it is. It's in uh, I did open, cut it open. There we go. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, do a, a, an opening here with you guys Came in a box. Yeah, it's uh, when I pulled it out. I go. Oh, it's a compass comes in a little nylon bag somewhere This is a similar model that I think I did a video on it, but I got it over here all I'll show it to you when I'm done. But, now this has got a Zel Velcro. The, this one came with a snap. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing and figure out. Man, it's a beast. I, you know, I definitely. This is definitely not for for backpacking or anything like that. It it weighs a ton. It's all metal, so it's it's, it's quite a quite an operation. Uh, I think. Um, but you know, I got it just. Because I collect compasses, I think they're cool. And if I mentioned it on earlier videos, I've been fascinated with them since I was a kid. So, anyway, this one's different than the this one that I bought, in that it has an inclinometer on it. So, uh, anyway, let's just weigh this thing right off the bat. Get that over with. Let's see, can you see that? Ten point one ounces, so I'm <laughs> here three quarters of a pound. I mean that's that's massive. Now you take, you know, and it, it, I think because it, it feels like it's all metal construction. Let's just pull this one out that I got. It's a similar, very similar compass actually, but but let's weigh it. It's only five point eight ounces, but as you can probably compare it side by side. Um, yeah, it's a little bit smaller, so that would uh, that would account for some of the weight. If you look at the, it's not as high. It's uh, yeah, it's just about it's just a little bit smaller, so and uh, doesn't doesn't have as much metal in it. So that would explain part of the increased weight. But this thing's a beast. So anyway, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Make sure I'm staying in frame. Okay, so it's got the got the flip up for sighting. And this is the uh, inclinometer for, for uh, measuring angle, and you can determine uh, height by distance and all this other stuff. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Uh, so there's the, yeah, it's got the, got the bezel and the north, all the standard stuff of, of a compass. You know, you can dial in your, you can sight through it. Uh, it doesn't have, oh yeah, this one has uh doesn't have the flip up sighting thing like a lensatic compass, but it does have back here is uh, when you when you you sight in and then you look through this peephole and you can read the uh, the bearing off of off of that. So that's uh, it does have a sighting notch here. So you sight the notch there and then line it up with this arrow here. Hmm. Actually, it's got a little bit of a a magnifier there, so I guess you can. Uh, how does that work? Hmm. Anyway, uh, so it's similar. This this one here. I might as well look at both of them. I got these off eBay, by the way, made in China. Very 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 similar. Oh yeah, and they both have the the leveling bubble here. Very very similar face, and uh, has the. Uh, the same kind of sighting stuff, and then you, uh, you when you do when you do do your sighting, you can look at get your bearing, read it inside that. So, yeah, it's got some trigonometry or trig or measuring thing. And also, this one has a hole right here, so you can mount it to a tripod. So, if you're doing some serious, not serious, but Maybe just some some rough uh, surveying before you actually go out and get the, you know, get the real stuff, the new GPS things. So, 
No more dragging chains through the blackberries like they did in the old days. <laughs> yeah, the, the new laser things must be a, a godsend to, to surveyors. So anyway, yeah, this has the has the leveling bubble in it. It also has the on the back a screw in so you can mount it to a tripod if you want to get more accurate. And uh, on this Sun it actually has its uh, meters along here so for uh, anybody in the states and where states and uh, some place like Bangladesh are the only countries that, that still use uh, the imperial measurements. <laughs> so anyway and uh, looks like it's got uh, yeah, these look like millimeters on this side and again meters for for work you working with a map and then what you do here is you you get your angle and uh, this actually it's actually pendulums so you get your angle and uh, if you want to you know for the slope and then you can use it for figuring out distances and heights and all that stuff so uh, I think not probably not much use for uh, for navigating in the woods but if you're doing yeah if you're doing some kind of surveying stuff then it would be really handy but just for everyday use you'd probably just stick with something like this one which is which is half the weight and it probably was a little bit cheaper too so anyway but uh, yeah it's pretty cool comes yeah it comes with a nylon case and uh, it's pretty heavy duty. There you go. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to put this around your neck. You'd be, <laughs> it'd be, be the millstone around your neck. I feel like you're being punished. So, but anyway, it's uh, it's pretty darn cool. I mean, it's a real compass. It really works. If you know, if I wanted to use it, I could. I've got. No shortage of compasses, so I'll, if I ever get lost, I'll have absolutely no excuse. So, anyway, so that's that. I can't think of anything else to say about either of these compasses, except, you know, they're kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, this one's a little bit different in that the uh, the thumb ring is on the, on the back side, where this one, it's on the front side. And also, by flipping up, it locks this up so it doesn't flop around on you but I mean overall it's it's a nice stout little compass so both a liquid filled so they're they're really good compasses you can find them on eBay I can't remember the name it doesn't matter anyway they probably go by a dozen different names the way a lot of these Chinese things are so if you're interested in getting one of these I'd say they're pretty good so anyway that uh, I guess that's it uh, yeah this one in back well, I'm just kind of stuttering along here Looks like you get inches here, and uh, looks like you got uh, millimeters here, so or centimeters. So, anyway, that's that. I can't think of anything else. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, just a quick uh, denim here. Uh, they both do come with instruction books that are they're adequate. So, that's that. We'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.